here we are, we've made it to Kumiu, and uh, it's pouring with rain, so that should be fun. We're currently alternating between heavy, heavy showers and little fine spells. I've probably got water all over the lens, sorry about that. Uh, there's a guess the weight of the pumpkin comp here, and I've put my guess in, so we'll see how that goes. They're auctioning off the pumpkins at 2 o'clock, I think, or guess the weight's at 2 o'clock anyway. They're doing that. Um, so I think they may have compacted down their day because tomorrow it may be uh, raining a lot. This one is 200.5 kilos. So this is the big daddy. Some others have come in close, just under 200. So the home course team are now just going to weigh the kids ones. Don't forget the auction this afternoon, 2 o'clock. The auction is, it's a lot of pumpkin soup, a lot of pumpkin pie. We may even have to get a chainsaw to cut it up to get into your cars, but we'll make sure it'll happen that way. But if you're wanting to know what the big, the big one is, 200.5 kilos. This is the man that grew it here. This is the gentleman that grew it here. What's your name, sir? Steve. 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 Well done, Steve. So you've got the pumpkin so far. Let's see what it comes into the auction. Here we are, they've weighed the pumpkins at the Kumu AMP show. I'm with the winner, Steve. 200.5 kilos is what it came in as. Really good season, apart from starting about three weeks too late. Is that right, Steve? That'd be about right, yeah. If we'd, if we'd gone three weeks late, I mean, it was growing until yesterday. Yep. And still putting on nice weight. But, That's the um, way to do it, cut it off the day before your oh, event. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you cut it off before, you're probably going to lose about a kilo a day. Uh, is usually what they think. So I reckon we were putting on five kilos a day for the last couple of weeks. Awesome but, stuff. Right, just, How was uh, the weather up here for growing? Oh, um, reasonably good, but we watered every day. You know, watered every day, fertilised every week, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Um, had a lot of tap roots around the around the vine. You know, did That's the one. Did everything right, but just a little bit too late, unfortunately. A little bit too late. Yeah. No worries. Awesome to see. People are loving this pumpkin. They always do. They're weighing the kids' ones now. The sun has come out, it's looking good now. Uh, I'm glad I'm not wet anymore. What's your favourite thing so far? Uh, that little puppy over there. The little puppy over in that tent, uh, very happy with that. Not so keen on adopting a greyhound though, apparently. So, about 10 more minutes and we will check out a pumpkin auction. We'll see how that goes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our uh, auction for what is very special calls. And we have a very special lady here, of course. So you don't need to do much of it. I want anyway, the right honourable and our lovely Prime Minister, Mr. Ardeer. Wonderful to see you here. As you can see, there's some, uh, two of our giant pumpkins over here. Our, uh, our friend winner. Afternoon, both first and second place. Steve Grisnak here from Helensville, master pumpkin grower, and he's generously going to donate his drive over his prize winning to the Westpac helicopter. Very quickly, ox off these four pumpkins if the Prime Minister can uh, wait for a moment. Obviously, the money's going to Westpac as well as the generous uh, prize money that Stephen's donated here. It's a very big uh, gesture from him and it's much appreciated. Also, we've got another special guest, Charlotte. And uh, Stephen started something of a trend here because Charlotte is generally going to donate her pumpkin to the good cause as well. Found his other fit, he's alright. <laughs> at $60, at $60, at 60 70 at $100, at $100, 10 wow, at $100, at $100, is that plus GST? Better check, is that plus? No, it's including GST, you're okay. At $100, at $100 for a 10, I'm selling the Nemo pumpkin off for $100. At ten dollars, at ten dollars, selling now for ten dollars, all done for ten dollars, gonna sell them for ten dollars. Got it. 
Okay, we're going to go second for $20. Out it goes. Your father's going to hate me for $20. Selling now for $20. Well done. At $100, I'm selling now for the Westpac helicopter. $100. First time. Second time. Third and final call. It is going. It is going. I'm very sorry. It is gone. The Prime Minister jumped in and uh, when that happens, obviously you can't easily just uh, carry on with what you're doing. I'm here with Zach. Ben, now, actually. Oh, Zach's, Zach. Zach's, Zach's the nephew. Oh, Zach's the nephew. This is Ben. Yeah. Yep, got that right finally. And obviously the two biggest pumpkins which have just been signed by the Prime Minister, he has won at auction. Yep. Uh, what's the plan with that? Uh, no idea actually. The seat looking one will be a seat for a month and no idea about the rest. I think he's going to be hooked on giant pumpkins and uh, he's obviously going to be a person to watch in the next year. So I look forward to coming back next year and seeing uh, just how Ben goes. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Yeah man, awesome. Thanks heaps. Thank you. So there we go, our trip to Kumu, it was a great time up there, we saw some amazing things, we hung out some very cool people, and uh, it was a great time. Make sure to check out the blog for all the photos that went along with that trip, there's a lot of them, so head over there, uh, make sure to come say hi, either on the Facebook, uh, Instagram, or even on Twitter if you're over there. Everything's going full steam to get ready for the Great Pumpkin Carnival here in Hamilton, make sure to check that out, 31st of March. Not long to go now, Hamilton Gardens Rhododendron Lawn. A week after that, I'll be heading down to Gisborne to go see the Bush Mary Arms and see what's happening down there. It's always a great trip, great people, and good things to see. So until next time, I'm Sam, and uh, keep growing them giant.